We're in the HT140 again, and this time we're not on track or going to a track day or anything like that. We're actually on our way to Everything M3s. So Dara, who's the main man there, uh, he's a good customer of mine, has been for really quite a long time. And he rang a little while back and said, I need some S85 parts, um, which is always quite exciting. You know, they're cool engines, the only V10 BMW ever made. And I was like, yeah, no problem. You know, that's not a conversation that wouldn't be expected from Dara. And then he threw in a little, uh, a cheeky little nugget of information that it's not for any S85. It's actually for a certain E61 M5 belonging to Mr. Chris Harris. So we're driving up today. We're going to drive up. Uh, I haven't been to their new place. Um, so have a look around their new place meet all the guys properly and then uh, yeah see what parts we've got for the mighty E61 M5 and uh, hear about some plans of what Dara and everyone are going to be doing with it so we'll catch you back up in a little bit when we arrive there and uh, see what we've got going on there and uh, also show you what we've got in the boot because it's a load of really really nice engine parts so see you in a bit. stood here with Dara we've just uh, unloaded the 140 so we'll run through all the bits now it's gonna be a pretty exciting projects by the sound of things yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'll let Dara kind of talk through the maybe more exact plans for it and we'll have a look through all the shiny bits if uh, if you want to come over Ben and we'll we'll go through them one by one nice <laughs> of course so we've got a good little layout of I mean it's a fairly short list but some really exciting bits so we've yeah. got Shrik cams Marlow Motorsport pistons and we've got some Shrik valve train bits and some NRW bits. So yeah, we'll run through one by one. Very, very nice. Yeah, power pack pistons. Yep, so they're essentially off the shelf, but yes, yeah, slightly higher compression than standard. Yep, perfect. Um, standard bore, thankfully the bores are all right on yeah, yeah, they're this good. engine. Yeah, yeah. Which they're... is quite something usually for an yeah. S85. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, no, the, these, these all work very well. We've got these look nice as well. I quite like these NRW. Yeah. Yes, these are spark plug tubes. So if anyone's had one of these engines apart before, they've um, they've got plastic spark plug tubes with a sort of moulded on seal on each end, which yeah. tends to be a bit leaky and a bit yeah, fuzzy, yeah. Cars a bit older. So these NRW tubes are billet aluminium and they've got Viton O-rings that you can replace just the O-rings rather than replace the tubes. Um, so nice. they're sort of serviceable, but in theory you won't have to do that. Very nice. Um, it should last the life of the car, really. Rocket cover grommets. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So again, another leaky, leaky BMW part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're another uh, Viton part, so they're a much more durable synthetic rubber, essentially. Probably a lot more reusable as well, are they? They I'd feel like so, they're not yeah. going to go brittle like the rubber. Yeah. Uh, nice. And then um, Shrik cams. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Look we were those. just having a look at the profile of these compared to standard, and they've got quite a bit more duration and lift, so yeah, which will work really well. I think the nature of the V10 liking revs, or maybe liking more revs now, yep. will be, um, that'll make quite a big difference, I'd have thought. 100%, um, well, these, these will work really well with the with the ported heads. So we've ported the exhausts, exhaust side of the heads, sorry. Uh, so, so these will work really well with that. So, on. Nice. Lovely, and um, to run those cams, you need uprated valve springs. Very nice. These are Shrik, Shrik valve springs with titanium retainers. Great. Lots of them. <laughs> Being a V10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a small undertaking, is it? There's plenty no. of these. Yeah. Very nice. No, I think that's often un underestimated how much it can cost when you when you start talking about the number of valves and springs and things. But yeah. if you want to make a performance engine, that's that's what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you run many of these cams? 
in, in, not in on a the V10. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah quite curious to see how they do. We've done a few S65s, which yeah. are, as we were saying just now, a pretty similar engine. Yeah. People think they're exactly the same and they're not, yeah. but they are similar in terms of valve train and, yeah, and nice. whatnot. So yeah, I've done some S65s that worked really, really well. Um, really strong numbers and you know, nice nature of power delivery. So. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Be good well, to see. Be really good to see what these do with a combo of ported heads. We've got obviously some headers that we that we manufacture as well. The combo of this they lot together nice. <laughs> yeah. should should work quite nicely, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. And then final party piece is uh, yeah. NRW silicon. Uh, intake couplers. So these fit between the throttle body and the airbox, right? Correct, cool. yeah. So the standard BMW ones, a lot of people slate them and I actually quite like them, but as they get older, they're definitely not, not yeah. the one. Yeah. So these have got all the features built in, like the factory ones. They sit properly into the throttle bodies and the airbox fits in them properly. And they've got a little tab here that stops the clamp spinning around, yeah. which means you can take them on and off in situ. They're just a really nice piece and they're far more durable than the, the hard rubber ones the that rubber. all the cars have. You see so many of these with the ends folded over as well when airboxes yeah. have not been put on. So yeah, that's that's nice. These look nice and supple. Hopefully. So it'd be a lot yep. easier to, to fit, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, an intake upgrade happening on uh, this one? Well, <laughs> it's already got the Infinity airbox. Oh, I didn't realize, cool. Yeah, so it's already cool. got the one piece carbon plenum. Very nice. Which is yeah. fantastic. So it's going to absolutely scream. Through. Yeah, <laughs> the whole lot together. I mean, yeah. even before we had this problem, Chris was saying that the engine, the car was running sweet as really powerful. So cool. even though we know it now that it was actually quite poorly or dying quite quickly, yeah. all of this together, you know, I mean, it's going to be high 500, 600 horsepower sort yeah. of. In a Engine. touring. In a touring <laughs> with a dog really cool. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary. Yeah, yeah, too right. But, no. but yeah, so that's, um, that's a lot of bits, really. We're going to leave it all with you, obviously. Thank and you. And then uh, look forward to seeing some magic happen. Cheers, Ben. <laughs> all right. Thanks, all right, mate. So <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>